823 on this Thursday morning. Welcome back to Good Day. Millions of you received your first child tax credit payment last week, and now the question is, what's the best use of the cash? Credible.com personal finance expert Dan Ricardo joins us this morning with tips on how to spend it wisely. Good morning, Dan. Hey, Leslie, how are you? I'm doing swell. So, Dan, let's talk about, of course, um, you know, this child tax credit. A lot of families out there really needed this money. And, and so, rightfully so, how should they prioritize it? Yeah, good question. $15 billion hit bank accounts last week. Um, and as you said, Leslie, the first priority really should be what are those must haves? What are those things maybe we didn't do the, during the pandemic? Doctors, visits, medicine, you know, whatever. Uh, let's catch up on those things that you just have to do, the really important stuff. Next, how about an emergency fund? Less than 52% of consumers say that they have savings that could last them three months if they lost their job. That's not good. So let's top up that rainy day fund. And finally, a no brainer. If you have high interest debt, credit card debt, throw some money against that. That can always help your budget. Yeah, I especially like that you mentioned that emergency fund, especially, you know, we're seeing COVID-19 numbers rising here in our area. So yeah. um, who knows what's to come? Yeah. yeah, when you figure that out, Leslie, let me know too, will you please? <laughs> I think we have to take it up with somebody upstairs, beyond the clouds. <laughs> but now sticking with uh, money, um, you know, if, if folks have already taken care of some of these things, what else could be a good use of this money, again, considering it's for children? That's a really good question because there are some families that are just, you know, they're fortunate enough, they just don't need these funds immediately. So here's what I want you to do. Put it aside, save it for college. I have four kids, Leslie, as you know, believe me, it's never enough. So the more you save for college, the better. Maybe take some of it and put it aside for a down payment on a home someday. If you're already in a home and you're the last person on the planet who has not yet refinanced your mortgage, use it. Use this money to maybe pay some of those refinance fees, um, you know, a couple thousand dollars, whatever, and, and lower your monthly mortgage payment, save a couple hundred bucks. That'll always that'll always benefit you in the long run. You can obviously do that at Credible.com. So there's a few ideas on how you can strategically use this money to actually improve your budget. That's so interesting. Now, Dan, I know you are also talking about opting out of the child tax credit. When is that appropriate? And what if you've already gotten the money? Yeah, someone's eating their mini wheats at home right now saying, why the heck would you say no to this? Well, here's a couple of good reasons. Number one, if your income changed a lot this year, went up, you had a large gain for whatever reason, you may want to opt out because you may wind up owing tax dollars next year. If your family status changed, maybe you share custody or something like that, you may want to opt out. And finally, some folks, Leslie, just prefer to get a one-time larger tax refund. And if that's you, then you may want to opt out so you get your larger refund all at once next year. Yeah, I know we've been saying here on Good Day that this is not extra cash. It's basically an early portion of next right. year's tax. That is so important to remember. Yeah. All right. Well, as always, we appreciate your money advice here on Good Day, Dan. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Leslie. Take care. You too.